You spent countless hours designing, and you sent the files to the printing factories and forgot to outline the font. It's as if you forgot your passengers when you take off the airplane. So in today's video, we are going to tell you why the printing factories requires outline and font and teach you how to achieve it in both illustrators and Photoshop. Sometimes printing factories need to do corrections for production purposes. And if you did outline your font, it will ensure that the font's appearance is preserved. Factories can adjust it without owning the fonts because it's been converted into an object. Now we know the reason why, let's jump right into it and teach you how to do it. There's only two steps you gotta do to convert the fonts into the objects. Command A, select all, then go to type, create outlines, or do the shortcuts by pressing command shift plus O. That's all you gotta do. Last but not least, make sure you save the printing separately so it does not get override with the editable files. Because as you can see, these turn into objects and you are not able to edit anymore. Same thing with the photoshops. In the photoshops on the layer panel, go to the fonts and right click the layers and convert to shape. Again, right click, convert to shape. So hopefully this will help you learn how to outline the fonts before you send the files to the printing factories. If you have any custom packaging problems, feel free to visit our website. Or if you want to know more about printing, such as what are the differences between CMYK and Pantone, feel free to click the previous video right here. Right, this is Frank from Inner Rhinos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.